Before we start, it's important to make sure you have Node installed in your machine. And to check so, just type node-v inside your terminal and it should give you a number. If you don't, it's easy to install. Just go to node.js.org um, install it based on your device. All right, first let's create a file, sorry, a folder called React to do list. So we'll do that by doing make directory React dash to do dash list. Now we'll go into that directory cd React to do list. Great. And let's open it in our text editor to show that it's a completely new folder with nothing inside. Okay, here we go. Now let's create a few files. So go back to the terminal and let's touch webpack. So touch is like making a file, config.js, and also index.html. So webpack config is our main webpack file and index is our main index.html file. If you look back to your text editor, you'll see these files are created. Um, and I prefer doing it in the terminal as opposed to um, creating a file in Atom because it's a lot quicker. Um, now let's install npm, or let's initialize it in our project. So we do npm init, and we'll um, say yes to everything. So hit dash y. And what this will do is create a package.json file with all the defaults in. Um, you can change it if you like, but I'll leave it as is for now. And let's go into our webpack config now and just put in some boilerplate webpack stuff. So um, module exports. And a webpack file usually has three main, um, three main things. One's entry, which is usually a string. Um, Sorry, four main things. The, the second's output, which is usually an object. Third is a module, which is also an object. And then last but not least, uh, plugins, which is usually an array. So we'll leave that for now. Um, and then we'll start to put things in um, for now, but then we'll add them later. So first we'll have an, an entry, which will be our index.tsx. So TSX stands for um, TypeScript XML, which is similar to JSX if you've used React before. Uh, what we're going to do is call that from our source directory, which we haven't yet created, but will do in the future. So source index.txt. This is where all our um, files will be called and um, output is from. And then we'll output everything into um, a build folder. So let's tell Webpack to do that by making a path. Um, so path resolve is something that comes with node by default and we'll call it at the top of this file after I write this line, we'll go to our main directory. So this, this is the dear name is taking us to our um, root and then we'll call the folder build. Cool. And then we'll also call the main JS file name bundle.js, which is convention. Um, most projects call them bundle. Now this um, path thing that we've called, um, we need to reference it at the top here. So let's make a JavaScript constant, call it path, and we'll require path from um, Node.js. Cool. Okay. So next, let's actually create this um, index.tsx file. So I'll go back to, I'll save this, go back to my terminal. And then in here, I'll make a directory called source, cd into source, and create a file called index.tsx. And what we're going to do in index.tsx is create some um, boilerplate React stuff. So let's import all as React from React. You'll notice that um, in the normal JSX file, you typically type import React from React. But if it's a TSX file, you have to import all as from React. Um, that's how type works. So import um, React DOM, 
pool from React Storm. Um, capital O M. React dash DOM. Um, and then we'll uh, make a constant which will reference uh, a DOM element, which we haven't created yet, we will in the future. So let's call this constant root. And we'll do a document query selector um, of, let's just call this DOM element a container. So we'll give it a dot for class and call it container content spelling error. Contain that. Awesome. Now let's finally render whatever we create in React. And for now, I'm just going to have a H1 with the word hello. Okay, and that will render in the root. So this file is done. Now let's create our index.html file. Um, sorry, let's put the dumb element in the index.html file. Um, I'm using something called Emmet, so it creates all this for me by me just tapping tab after an exclamation mark. Um, we'll call this React to do list, and then we'll uh, make reference to our container uh, class that we called. And also, let's um, call our bundle that we mentioned in TypeScript, not TypeScript, Webpack. So script source slash bundle.js and then we'll close that up cool all right everything here looks good now let's install um, the react things that we've called or asked for in here so simple um, npm install but we have to go back to our um, react to-do list let's clear this so you can see everything at the top and let's do an npm install of react and React DOM. So I'll let that run. Okay, now let's install the Webpack stuff. So npm install Webpack, and we'll install Webpack Dev Server. But let's install um, version two point nine point seven, purely because there's an error with the version above this, and I don't know if it's been resolved yet. But if it has, you can do anything above two point ten. Um, if it hasn't, then do this version. And we'll do dash D for a dev dependency. So if we install that. Cool. All right, now let's have a look at our package.json to see if everything's where it's meant to be. You'll notice this lock file that's created, um, which typically makes sure if you're pulling from a repo, it installs the versions that you specified. Okay, so you've got React, React DOM, Webpack, and Webpack Dev Server. Um, now, you'll notice we have a TypeScript file here, but currently Webpack can't read TypeScript. If you haven't told it to, it doesn't read TypeScript by default, so we have to install a TypeScript, TypeScript loader. And for that, I'm going to use something called Awesome TypeScript Loader, which um, in my experience, I've found to be better than the typical TS loader. So let's install TypeScript first, and then Awesome TypeScript. Loader as a dev dependency, so it's dash d. Checking my spelling is correct and is it isn't, so a script. Awesome, so now let's go to our webpack and tell it to read TypeScript. We do that here in the module section. Um, let's create a new rule. Uh, rules are usually arrays with objects inside them, and this is conventionally how it's written. So we use a regex. Um, to find every file that ends with TS or TSX, so the question mark and dollar sign, make sure it's either S or X. And then we'll use loader or some TypeScript loader as a string. TypeScript loader. Cool. Okay, so just a few finishing touches before we can run this. Let's create a new file. Um, Let's create a new file called tsconfig.json. Okay, so this creates all the TypeScript configuration stuff. Um, for us, this mainly makes sure it only um, it only uses the TypeScript in um, 
in this file and not touch it in our whole um, machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a bit and go back to my article, which has everything in this already, and just copy and paste the config um, because it's quicker to do than to type everything out line by line. All right. So a lot of this is already self-explanatory, as in um, the target CS5, which should include everything in the source and not outside the source. Um, but I'm going to spend time in a future video to explain what, what each line does. For now, let's leave it as is. Um, and a few more things to install with our terminal. Um, we have to install a few typing. So um, from the get-go, TypeScript, this file won't know if certain things should be, what types certain, certain things should be. So we need to tell it by installing um, the type file. So we have React and uh, uh, React DOM. So it's installed types, usually with an at and types. So we do that for React. And we do it for React DOM as dev dependencies. Okay, I've made an error. npm install, you could have spot, you probably spotted that. npm install at types react at types react dash DOM. Okay, I've made another error. Learn to spell types. T Y P E S. Cool. Now let's edit our package um, JSON file. As you can see, this these are scripts. Basically, if I hit npm test, it will run this. I don't have any tests at the moment, so this is a bit pointless. And I'll change this to start. So if I run npm start, what I want it to do is run the Webpack dev server. Okay, so now if I go into my terminal and hit npm start, or yarn start if you're using yarn. It should run the dev pack, the webpack dev server. Hopefully there'll be no errors. Okay, awesome. And if we go to our browser, navigate to localhost 8080, it should say, hello. And that's it, that's a, su uh, it's a super quick way to get React uh, TypeScript running with webpack. Um, and for the next tutorial, we'll go through um, how to get styles, how to have multiple files, um, and how to get rid of the bundle.js in the index.html. So if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.